Hello everyone, welcome back to this war of mine. Now, you must be wondering what are we doing here if we finished the actual game that we played a couple of months ago. But, next week a new episode is coming out of the stories, which I love. I will play The Father's Promise. I've already played it, but I will play it for you guys because it is beautiful. Uh, so we can actually get to, well, we get to see the first episode, which I have honestly, I've loved this game. I've said it many times, but these stories are great. It's too bad they come out like barely at all. I'm just happy the new one's coming out in a week. We'll play that, of course. Um... Let's read up. Adam's family failed to flee the city in time, but they managed to get by somehow, despite the siege. Until one day, Adam's wife fell ill. Without the proper meds, Barbara died. After her mother's death, Amelia became completely withdraw withdrawn and stopped speaking. Then she fell ill. One night, an explosion shook their t tenement, but fortunately they survived. Adam carried Amelia to the other wing of the building, desperate to save his daughter. So... How about we first look? Everything will be alright, Amalia. We'll be safe here. I promise. Yeah, we need to check for food and meds. I love how he's like, hmm, we need to check this. We never checked it before, but maybe now might be a good time. Like, literally, the building next door. I don't know how we even got here. This was their old home, so there shouldn't be any medicine in here. This is a really emotional story here. This is... Malia. She can't even move, I think. No, she can't. So, how about we now... Actually, we get to place. We're, we can look for stuff. Let's first look here. That's too bad. Now, I don't remember precisely what happened in this this one, but there we go. That's a, uh, that's a little bit. We can use the little pieces. Uh, we can't move there yet. Why? Because there's rubble in the way. We could move there, but no point. We don't want to waste our lockpick. Preferably, I'm going to treat this as this is a normal game. We preferably want to get grab a weapon of some sort. Perhaps move out, move this rubble out of the way. That we might be very nice. Build a bed here. We might need that. There we go. That's good. Let's see if we what we can actually build. Can we build a bed? I want this guy to be at least rest well. Okay, we should be able to build a bed at one point. This is what we really want. Of course, we could use this as well, metal workshop, so we can build a crowbar. But we can worry about that later. First, we need to clean this up here. Look at this. It's not even, like, it's not gorgeous, but just, you can see the desperation. Here. Oh, wow, there's someone's hanging out of the window there. Oh, gross. But you can see just how terrible this is. It's one of the most uni games out there. You're not playing some soldier. You're playing people. And now I know their opinion on making this a zombie game. They would. They don't want to make this a zombie game, nor release the core, so it won't be made into one. But imagine the possibilities. As someone who loves zombies, I like this. Is such a good opportunity. Now let's see. It's almost done. Okay. Look at this. This is just a f mortar. Just <sighs> got right there. Here we need to make the bridge, I assume. I mean, look at that. Like, you've seen. Just see all the damage that this war actually does. It's 
I mean, I've I've not played Frostpunk. I've seen a Let's Play of it, but I don't know. It's Frostpunk is less less the thing I like to do. Let's hope there's some gear in here. Oh, we could actually use the uh, the lockpick. We might actually want to use the lockpick. Oh, look, we have a. Let's give it. Let's give it to her, uh, to the kid. You know, she's a baby. She wants to have one. This just makes me sad seeing this. Come on, guy. Like, this makes you feel for for things like refugees, if this is what they go through. Like, unlike how I play this game, you can't be a murdering scumbag. I mean, you could, but I doubt that'd be very good to do. Here, we can open this one. I thought this was a door. But... I don't know. It... it it feels... I feel really bad for the characters in this situation. Like, they're just... They're not even that personalized, right? You can you cannot personalize them very well, but... It's so good. It is fantastic. Here we go. Finalize some food. We don't have a... No, we, don't, we need to make a kitchen first. Look at that. We've got another one. Another lockpick, which is good. Let's see if we can actually make a meal. We can make a furnace. Which I think we're gonna do. We're gonna just neglect this father's sleeping habits. We're just gonna make this, then go out. There we go. Console your child. And at this point, let's end the night. Which means we have to guard. Just making a bad decision. We need to make sure she can get her food. You have to look for food and all that. We can't do much more, can we? What's this, actually? No, look at that. <laughs> that breaks my heart. That's really sad. <laughs> to the bar from this side, yeah, it is. So I'm just going to remove this rubble. We had a furnace. Hopefully we can do with that. He has to go out, though. Like, he has to go and look for medicine. Even if he has to carry the damn kid, like, you're, you're her father. I'm not saying that she's... that he wants his kid to die. I mean, please don't think that. 
Someone's at the door. Is that a traitor, perhaps? Okay, let's go at him. Let's go. Crap, I didn't trade with him. Fuck. <sighs> That's not very good. Let's hope we can find something along the lines of gear to make to make a uh, bed so the guy can sleep. He'll probably sleep in a different room than his daughter, but you know, he has to, he's gonna have to deal with that. I wonder what would happen if you could somehow cheat in the medicine. <laughs> Just give it to your daughter straight up and save her. That'd be great. Let's go, boy. It's okay, I guess. Let's see if we can build a bed. Probably not. We don't have enough wood for that. But Oh, yeah, we can. Just perfect amount. Why will you not? Okay, here we go. Yeah, well, he can't sleep with his daughter. Just gonna put it there. Is she hungry? She's very hungry. Oh fuck! She just let her starve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to, don't I? I'm gonna cancel this. Can I cancel it? Because we don't, okay, we have books. We need to. He's not gonna be able to sleep. Oh God, fuck that. That sucks. Perhaps if we could have made made the uh, metal workbench, we could have made a axe and grab all this wood here. But that's my fault. Let's see. We're going to have to feed his daughter some f nice grub. He's not hungry until two days, so. Come on, give your daughter some food. Okay, sadly, we cannot make a bed, so this guy cannot sleep. We're gonna have to make him sleep on the ground. Here, give her another meal. Come on, give him, give her another meal. Go. Oh. Look, she's not hungry anymore. Amelia, that's so sad. Look at that picture. Go, come on. He has meds. Go downstairs. Run. We have to give them. Come on, trade. How about we give you a lock, pick a gear, a book? There we go. You have any more food? Yeah, you do. But I doubt you're gonna give. You're gonna want to give me food for like this. Give that as well? No. We, we sold our water, so we have to get some of our water back. There we go. We can make one meal now. And give your kid the medicine. There we go. Solve the problem, didn't we? Do 
Good job. Let's end the day now. Oh, I can scavenge. Why can I not make you sleep? I need to sleep. Why can I not make you sleep? What the fuck? Not much more I can do now, is there? I need him to scavenge. Just console her, I guess, and we'll end the day. Not much more I can do. He's gonna die, this guy. There we go. Scavenge. You you have to scavenge. You're making the wrong decisions. She'll be fine on her own for one night. This wouldn't have happened if you slept. Yo. Oh, it's so late. Holy crap. Do something. You have no food. No. Okay, crap. I'm telling you to investigate. This guy's still gonna die from starvation. Your brother didn't do it, I hope. All right. Oh, the output is so much better. I don't have a weapon. I would fight soldiers if I had a weapon. I don't know how strong this guy is, but... I don't mind killing soldiers. I just need... a weapon. You could try, I guess. I wouldn't mind getting a gun from a soldier. There we go. I'm gonna have to run up the stairs though. Oh, he can one shot it. Nice. Let's grab this gun. We're gonna need it. There we go. You have a gun now. Isn't that nice? We're gonna have to alert this guy. Oh, food, that's so good. And I think we can get all the way here if we want. Let's do this. Let's try and get him to come down. I'm gonna see the corpse and hopefully he's gonna run out this way. Otherwise we're kind of trapped. That's your mate, isn't it? There we go. Killing some soldiers is always good for the happiness, isn't it? Just when I kill soldiers, I just get this smile on my face. I'm kidding. Respect to all our uh, our comrades out there fighting for us.
it's locked, isn't it? You don't have something. You have a gun. That's all you have. You don't. You didn't bring lockpicks because we sold that. Get meds for Amalia. You don't remember? There we go. Oh, there we go. Some more meds. Nice. Cigarettes. We don't need cigarettes. Anyway, let's go here. I'm not sure if we can actually open this door, but we'll see. Yeah, we can. As long as we have time out. Sorry. Whoopsie daisy. Dude. Um. We're gonna need some wood. So let's pick that for now. Just explore as much as we can here. We're gonna need a lot to come back with. Come back with. We're gonna skip these two. I doubt we're gonna need that. We're gonna grab this, grab that. Hopefully this is some food. That's some nice food. We're gonna skip out on the cigarettes. We're, we don't need cigarettes. Literally, we can eat that. Okay, so we almost got everything. We're gonna grab one of the parts from this stack. And we should be good. Let's go home. See, you could have done this earlier and given her like all the medicine, have a gun to protect her. But no, Adam, you're like, no, let's wait. My daughter's inside. She might die. Boo-hoo. Also kind of disappointed that I built a bed and you're not allowed to sleep in that bed. If I'm not allowed to sleep in the bed... Oh, wait, I didn't actually build a bed, did I? Grab something to eat. And then go to sleep. This music is so good. So good. Depressed, so sad. That, that would make me even more sad to sleep in the bed where your daughter slept. Like, yeah, that's almost entirely gone. Let's go with all the weapons we have. Time to shoot our brother up. Anything here? A fridge! Aw, oh, only like one meat. But I better just collect everything inside, just to be sure. Let's see. There doesn't seem to be anyone in the house, because throughout the game, nothing has popped up. You're like, yo! Be careful, something's going to happen. Woohoo. Let's grab this, and then I'm just gonna do that. It's for now, that's more important. Okay. From what it sounds like, this brother is a kind of good guy. I don't know why he hates him so much. He's trying to help people. You know how to get there. What are you talking about? What's this? Oh, it's actually a pile of something. Nope, I guess not. 
That's a great. How am I gonna get there? I don't have that shit. We're gonna abandon these herbal meds. I think that he doesn't smoke, so I think the materials right now are more important. So we're gonna go back up here. Actually, let's dump everything we don't need in this container. So if we ever come back here, we know what to grab. There we go. So we can clear out some other containers, which will make looting easier. Well, I've not been here yet. Maybe we should check that out first. Okay, you leave the map here. Anything here? Probably some materials, yeah. Thought so. That's good. We we destroyed a container. Now in a solo playthrough you kinda just wanna basically go to maps and store your food and stuff on other maps, if that makes any sense. Uh so you don't so you don't get robbed if it's only if you only have one character it's it's just purely so you don't get robbed. So there's only one two containers left besides this one, so we can go home and feel sure about ourselves. Well, we've been stolen, is haven't we? No one on guard. Um, get here. Maybe we can do something about this gap. Ooh, really? Really? Okay. Whoopsie do. I guess we can't. So I'll just go to sleep because we really can't do anything else. We're gonna need to go to the pharmacy. Gonna grab my gun and all my bullets. And we're gonna see. I don't know how long I've been uh, playing, but you know. Oh, we can go up here. We should grab everything we come across. There we go, that's nice. Just be careful. Take everything you can get, because maybe we can actually build something more than just what we have right now. Part of me is a little bit weirded out that these buildings have, have like, it won't budge, really? Can you just get down here then? Oh, we need to follow the trail. Well, first we need to loot everything we can. Kill this brother. Oh, I know. Stab to death. I don't have a knife, so that'd be basically impossible. Well, we need to go to the gas station, it seems, but I kind of want to say, just dump the, the toy. Amelia, we have to get to Amelia. So, you know, sure, she may be happy with that fucking toy, but I'd rather have actual things I can use for her. Uh, let's take the water. 
and let's drop the parts and grab the herbal medicine just in case we find Amelia. But that's about it. Wait, we can actually take this. We can see this. Medicine. Ooh, let's just drop this and grab the medicine instead. There we go. Let's go home now. We've had enough. There we go. Now, Adam, we'll have to eat today, if I remember. 